Hi guys, it's me, Stephanie. I just wanted to come on here real quick to show you my daily routine on this um, this product. So, here's the Unicity Balance, and I make I put this in a little bit of water, a little bit, a little bit shy of eight ounces. So do that and then I put this Unimate tea into well if this was clear put it in water put this in water and then shake it up and it's this um, let me show you what it does. Where are my notes? Where are the notes? I'm, I'm supposed to learn how to say what this is for, what the balance is for. The balance is for, I, I, I can't remember. And so this is why I'm asking God to give me a spirit of remembrance because when I tell somebody about this product, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like, oh, I don't know. Let me go check my, let me go check the internet. Let me go see what it says about, about it. I don't want to do that. I want to know that I know that I know that I know what I'm talking about. So this this is the orange flavor balance. What this does to me is it's thick. This is the fiber part of the drink. This is the fiber part of the drink. So when you drink it, it's really thick. And what it does, it, it coats, it coats. What does it coat, Stephanie? Um, I'm not sure if it coats your food or if it coats your belly or if it coats going down. So it caps, encapsulate the food. So you can have, because it's fiber. So you are able to have a much better bowel movement. That's what it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. I usually slam this because the longer it takes sitting down, the thicker it gets. Did you know that higher blood glucose is associated with mortality? because of a thing called resisting blood, resting blood glucose. Interesting. Glucose that makes, that just means the amount of sugar in your blood. So this is getting thick already. So I'm gonna put some water in it to make it um, a little bit less thick. Let's talk about symptoms of being a diabetic. Uh, while insulin resistance typically has no symptoms. So self-care consists of physical exercise, weight loss, a low carb diet, 
did you know that there's less carbs in white rice the next day think about it for a second you cook rice one day put it in the refrigerator refrigerator and then the next day take it out and it has it's scientifically proven that it has less carbohydrates than it did yesterday when you previously made the white rice go check it out google it do you know how to make the body's cell more receptive to insulin by getting active exercising running jogging lifting weights being active certainly is the best way to combat insulin resistance let me just shake the rest rest. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <clears throat> okay. I'm done taking my balance. Now, for this, there's already some in here, and at work, I diluted it, I added more water. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make some more of this, and then add it to this water here. Can you be insulin resistant but not diabetic? Yes. When your doctor says you're pre-diabetic, this means your blood glucose levels are higher than normal but not high enough. It means your pancreas isn't making enough insulin. You eat carbohydrates, blood glucose goes up. What you eat and when you eat. The more carbohydrates you eat, the more your glucose sugar goes up. That's why we fast. That's why we're doing intermittent fasting. Did you know obesity is a major cause of insulin resistance? How did you or someone you know obtain diabetes? Usually it's because of the inactive lifestyle and a diet high in carbohydrates. Somebody who doesn't exercise but eats a lot of carbohydrates like bread, pizza, pasta, etc. What is your goal? If your goal is weight loss, then join the club. Let's reverse insulin resistance. 